So this is it then. The crew, Eddie, me, and Veronica. We can see New Vegas off in the distance. Camp Golf we visited previously. Uh, we'll return later on in the series. Let's see if there's anything else in the area that we need to discover. Nope. Using the bottom left corner, I don't see any uh, little... If you see a wee hollowed out triangle, it means there's a location nearby. So, uh, yeah, we'll venture about, see what there is in the area. I don't, I've never spent too much time in the area between Black Mountain and the Repcon headquarters. I think there's ways you can, like, get around, you know, like a shortcut to New Vegas. I've personally never used them, but they are there. There are ways. Oh. Oh, wait, is it the NCR safe house might be here? The Ranger safe house? You get it, like, way later on when you're super friendly with the uh, the NCR. I think you have to do some missions in Camp McCarran. We'll get around that. Around to that. But, in the meantime, my Fallout 4 run is almost complete. So, if you want a 100% run there, it's uh, almost ready to go. Although, if this is not the safe house, it does beg the question of... Wait, this couldn't be walking me to Black Mountain, surely. Oh, well, I suppose that could be a possibility, but we can't really go up there, can we? Oh. I see enemies. Quite a number of enemies. Oh, no. No, we'll go the other method. Uh, through Marcus. Or not Marcus, uh, whoever the guy is at the front that you can talk to. He's located... Should just use the map. Oh yeah, I'm working towards Black Mountain. Uh, there's a guy like here. Neil. Neil! It's Neil, because uh, the location's called Neil's Shack. Is that the Rapcon headquarters? Well then, the NCR Ranger outpost must be around here. Although, there is a Deathclaw nearby. I don't think we've fought one yet. I don't really plan on. Ah, uh, if I can just sneak over to this whilst I'm here. NCR Ranger outpost. Requires a key, right. There's definitely death claws nearby. Run hardcore though. My companions are a little squishy. I'll need more backup, more firepower. If I'm to hope to take them down. I do want to just have a little glance. Yoohoo, death claw! Oh, I'm dancing with danger here. Ah, there they are. There, behold! Deathclaw. May even be ones closer, but the very high perception. Best not going too close to them. They will mess us up. So, we'll discover the Repcon headquarters, make our way towards the Fiends and the Gates of Camp McCarran. Uh, I'm not wearing an NCR uniform, but I think I can probably talk my way through things. We want to do quests anyway. We don't want to go the easy route into New Vegas. Thankfully, most of the robots outside of the Rampcon headquarters uh, are friendly. Don't need to worry too much about them. And with this place discovered, we will uh, be able to come back and uh, have a look-see. Hello. Is that a door? I don't ever remember being able to go in here. Unless that's not a door you can go in. Oh, you can. Is there a death clone here? I have did didn't know this was a thing. Wow. Well, that's neat. I mean, never say no to a doctor's bag. Pre-war money, underglue, more pre-war money. Ah, desk fan. No coffee mugs, though. Coffee pot. Does that count? Nah. We need mugs. Mugs for the mugs god. <laughs> right. Anything else? Nah. Yeah. Every door to the left. Didn't know you could go in here. There, even, even New Vegas has things that someone like myself with a good... I have a lot of play hours in New Vegas. Someone asked me, would this series be as long as Fallout 4? And the answer is simply no. 
Fallout 4's 100% run took about 200 to 250. I haven't done the totals because I know some episodes were 2 to 3 hours. Um, this should probably take under 100 hours. Maybe less. Because this is episode 10. We've cleared a good bit of it. See, the problem is with Veronica, she likes getting up close and personal. And normally I'm totally for that, but in this one instance, it may be a little bit of a hassle. Ah, the ant mound, right. What am I looking at over here? Oh, these guys, that's fine. I thought it was Death Claws, I was like, nah. But then I seen them, and I was like, do you know what? Actually. Pew, pew, pew. What's all my scanners here? Oh, thank goodness. Did done good. There's a train station there. Death Claws. Discovered the ant mound. It's got the queen ant in it. Uh, I won't. I'm going to try and pick a fight with her just yet. A lot of this is just exploring. Oh, it's geckos. Well, I can deal with geckos. Hey! Awesome. Veronica! You're, You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Yep. I am indeed. Oh, no. Don't need you to take that. Sadly, I cannot select by weight. There was probably a mod or two I could have thrown on. Might do it for Fallout 3, though. Because I think it'll take substantially longer to complete than New Vegas. Uh, just given the, the size of the mod. Is this the Whitaker homestead? Farmstead? Or was this Hunter's Farm? Whitaker one must be a wee bit further over. I only know that off the top of my head because, well... Wait a minute. It's a little too quiet. I'm dancing with danger, but, you know, I love... Love the... The rush. I no longer want the rush. Don't need nor want the rush. No, no, no. Powder gangers over in that. I think that's the Whitaker farmstead. Okay. We're just kind of zigzagging at uh, the front of New Vegas. Just kind of getting all the wee locations in and around here as we make our way to Camp McCarran. There's going to be some fiends in the way, so get the cowboy repeater ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. What a beautiful improvement this one mod pack does. Visually beautiful, more importantly, less crashes. Which, I've had like two so far. In my entire Fallout 4 run, I think I had like three. It was rather crazy how, uh, how much we got away with in that one. Ah yes, this is the old uh, Bethesda Studios. Or it's it's based in their building. Uh, I don't think they, they weren't based in Nevada. I think this is it. The Basin Creek building. Yeah. Oh. I hear a lot going on. I think I hear a lot going on here. Yoo-hoo! Hey. Hello. Okay, what? I'll take a frag grenade. Don't need the armor. 
take that. And nothing else. Let's see if I can lure the attention of some of them. Hey! <laughs> and then we will hug the NCR troops. As the fiends close in our position. Where are you boys going? Don't don't leave me here. There's fiends coming. Yeah. He's still following over. And eh, not fast enough. Okay, there's a few places over that way, more fiends. Ah, we'll go to Camp McCarran. I'll discover Camp McCarran and then I'll continue my adventures around fiend territory. I think the most disappointing fact about New Vegas, or about Las Vegas I'm going to, is that they don't, they don't have the lucky 38. It's not based oh. on anything, it just does not exist. Ooh. Well, I'll save this because we know how this engagement's going to go down. Ooh. Well, it's a miss, but Veronica is going to close the gap and. Veronica is injured, but not uh, I'm gonna need some music. Okay, um... Oh my god! I was like, I need to reload, or I need to, uh... You're dead. Veronica, you are a beast. I have to give it to you on that one, like... Okay, so value of eight. Well, we can repair it. Hopefully, we can repair the other ones. And we'll discover this whilst we're here. It's one of the pump stations, isn't it? The West Pump Station. That'll be needed in the quest later on. And then my favourite thing about New Vegas is when you can just repair... See, now we're starting to get a weapon of somewhat some value. I mean, we'll need to do some serious amounts of... Ooh! I'm not gonna lie. That fixes a lot of our problems, Eddie. So much so, you're gonna be carrying them. I know, I know. Good man. Cheers for the offer. Off we go. El Rey Motel. Oh, the Thorn. It's another place we'll be visiting. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good time hard. El Rey Motel. McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Good to see a friend of our government. Uh-huh. Okay. And we go to Camp McGarren and see what we can find. That seems they just let anyone in. Okay, so... It's pretty expansive. Not too much going on. And there's the McCarran Airport. Howdy. Name's Sterling, first recon. Can't say I've seen you before. I'd remember if I had. You remember everyone who passes through? Got a good memory for faces, landmarks and such too. Comes with practice, that's all. And a lot of scouting from place to place. Fair enough. Interesting rifle you have there. Lever action? I call her the Long Carabine. Didn't always Carabine. have the scope. I added that myself. Been shooting with her so long, couldn't bring myself to toss her away. Would have felt guilty to part with the old girl. The other snipers used bolt action, but Gorbets reckoned it didn't matter none if I was different, so long as I could hit my targets. Have you always been with First Recon? 
Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Hmm. Why'd you leave? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpe. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't gonna be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts either. How'd you manage to escape, Malthus? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Damn, I've only been stationed. Going on six months now, but I reckon we'll be moving out soon enough. Can't talk about the details. Till then, we'll man the towers and keep an eye on the fiends. We've had more than our share of trouble from their direction. Whole thing smells of Caesar to me. Of course, that's just guesswork. But I still bet a few caps he's stirring up the locals against us. Fair enough. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. No worries, Corporal Sterling. That was a mad story. I didn't expect to see it, but I will take the coffee mug. Oh. I mean, I can take everything? Oh, no. Oh. What's that? Hello. A sniper rifle? Hello. I just walked in here for just, just a look, and it seems I'm leaving with a lot. Is it because I'm friendly with the NCR? Or does it matter? Refrigerator. Well, I guess we can't take everything everywhere. Lots. Okay, if it's not lots, but it basically is lots, it must be pots. Woohoo! These terminals have done me dirty, but it seems we've got their redhead. Jones, I transferred that redhead you liked over to admin. You'll be sitting next to her all day, so don't come crying to me if you can't get her in your bunk. Oh, and you owe me big time for this favor. I'll let you know when I think of something. Reminder, all personnel must secure their terminals before leaving their post. We don't need another situation like the one Private Crenshaw created last week. Hi there. What's up, Jones? Crenshaw here. So you've got your eye on that pretty redhead, huh? I'll probably be sure to fill her in your. Uh, I'll be sure to fill in, fill her in on your farting, probably. Seeing as we're all buddies and all. P.S. You didn't secure your terminal very well. Choose a better password next time. Oh, so I'm guessing the female redhead must have figured out what was going on there. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hello there. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. But I can't steal any of it. Must have just been like a just a part of the base they didn't think of. You a normal trooper? Yep. Broken. Well, there's a coffee mug and we're fairly building up coffee mugs. What? Eddie, can you believe I'm over encumbered again? No, I don't know how this keeps happening. We'll need to return to my little house soon. And, uh, well, put all my stuff away. Our mess hall. Another barracks. Any of these star bottle caps? Never know. Nope, none of them by the looks of it, but damn. Oh, you've got too many coffee mugs not to stay like. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Uh, anything on the perimeter? Nope. Wait, I think I've done all the tents. 
This is very intense. <laughs> I'll stop. Nah, I'm only joking. I'm not gonna stop. Gotta keep the gotta to keep the dad humor alive and well, alive and hell. Oh well, people. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Ooh. I don't ask, I just appreciate. Okay, last tents are another mess hall with stuff that I can't steal. Gotcha. Can take the mugs though. The mugs are never considered stealing. I don't have an explanation for it, but considering our, you know, trajectory on collecting mugs, I ain't gonna complain either. Veronica! Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Is there some way I can actually get you to... Let's see... That's her or limit. Use this. If it's bad news, you can take it up with the colonel. If it's good news, it better involve some dead fiends. Know about the f what do you know about the fiends? Back of drugged out killers. They're addicted to every stim, every pill, every psychoactive enema on this fucked up earth. I've got three fiends I want dead, and I don't give a goddamn how Ooh. it gets done. That sound like something that interests you? Of course. Good. That's damn good. I figure it's about time we got lucky out here, so maybe you can snuff one of these maniacs. First one calls herself Violet. God knows why. The name is the prettiest thing about her. Spends most of her time with a pack of vicious dogs. Then there's Driver Nafai. He's fast and he's brutal. Killed about a dozen of my men with a goddamn driver iron. Hence his name. Cook Cook? And finally, yeah. Cook Cook. Rapist, pyromaniac, and damn good chef if you believe the fiends we've captured. Probably the craziest of the lot. I'm not gonna feed you any bullshit. These aren't your common Vegas trash. They've all killed good NCR men, and plenty of mercs too. You go after them, any of them, you're in for a hell of a fight. So, which one is it gonna be? Ah, uh, all of them? None of them? Violet. Violet it is. Wish I could give you more advice on how to bring her down, but we know less about her than the other two. Just watch out for the dogs. She raises them herself. Might as well be their mother, and they never leave her side. Where can I find her? Good question. Fiend territory is southeast of here, but they range all over the area. None of them stays in any one place for long. Anything else? One more thing. If you want the full reward, you need to bring me a recognizable head. My superiors need proof they're gone. That means no headshots, no decapitations till after they're dead, and no damage to the face. If you want to be safe, aim for the chest. You bring me a head that looks like a rotten tomato, people will be doubting, and I won't be authorized to pay the entire bounty. Fair enough. Good luck to you, and don't get careless. No problem. Right. Well, we'll kill all of them, but we'll start off with Violet. Ah, the good old medical facility. It seems that uh, they aren't... Aren't just forthcoming and just surrendering all their stuff. Oh, a coffee mug that I have to steal. Well, yeah, sometimes you just gotta do it. My karma's definitely taking a hit for this, though. Okay, anything around all these old military trucks? Nope. Uh, nothing down here. Nope. 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 You can tell they had so many more plans for this place, but obviously... You know, time constraints and that. They just had to kind of abandon ship at a certain point. Aha. I'm Lieutenant Gorobetz, First Recon. If you're looking to collect a bounty, you should talk to Major Daughtry. Tell me about First Recon. We're the finest sniper outfit in the whole NCR. If you need a bullet put into a target's eye from 800 yards away, you call us. Some of my team aren't without their share of scars, though. Like Betsy and Sterling. What's wrong with Betsy? 
Cook Cook, one of the fiends, ambushed her and ten of spades. They both managed to escape, but not before Cook Cook raped her. Betsy shrugged it off like it was nothing, but her behavior keeps getting worse. Always making passes at every woman who wanders by. It's inappropriate for anyone at First Recon to behave that way. I could discipline her, but I'd rather she get medical help. No worries. I can talk to her. I'd appreciate it. As her CO, I could order her to get help, but I'd have her agree with the idea. I'm the Sterling. Corporal Sterling was an NCR Ranger until he was captured by the Legion. They tortured him pretty badly. He wasn't able to be a Ranger after that, but his eyes are still sharp. So I had him transferred to first recon. Mm, fair enough. Does the NCR usually offer bounties? If they've proven hard to kill, yes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, even if it means hiring help from outside the military. Hmm. Fair enough. Carry on. Hey, my man. Ten of spades. First recon sharpshooter at your s service. Well, I heard about what happened to Corporal Betsy. The LT t t told you about that? Shit, man. That's shit. Tell me what happened. It was m m my fault. See, I was knocked out when it happened. The b big guy sneaked up on us. I let b b Betsy down. If you were unconscious, how could you have done anything? Shit. You sound like the LT. I should have woken up. I shouldn't have gotten knocked out in the f first place. That shit was my fault. I don't want to talk about it anymore, all right? Why do you think you let Betsy down? She's my g g g goddamn partner. See, we work in pairs. We spot for each other. We watch each other's backs. Nobody w wanted to work with me. They said I was too green, but Betsy volunteered. Shit, you don't even know how big a d d deal that is. She trusts her life to the newbie, and I sit here and let her get raped by that p piece of shit. Never mind. Wait, hold on. Yeah, the LT shouldn't have brought that shit up. Not with civvies, anyway. Ain't right. Are you alright? Oh, yeah. F f fine. Just a little st st stutter. Had it since I was a kid. Doesn't stop me from kicking ass. Oh, you could... Are you sh sure? Hey! No cause for th that. No cause for... Oh. <laughs> hey. You're right, I'm sorry. I can't walk away like Fallout 4. You're right. Nah, it's no p p problem. Everybody likes to have a little fun with me. You don't rib somebody you don't like. Okay, where'd you get that name? The LT. Gorobets gave it to me. See, I wanted to be Ace of Spades. But the LT says, sorry kid, you're t t t too green. So he calls me Tin instead. It's okay though. I get a few more k k k kills under my belt. He'll move me up to Jack. Jack of Spades. Sounds better, right? <laughs> I keep at it. Eventually I'll make it to Ace. Think I'll skip Queen though. Fair enough. How long have you been a sharpshooter? Shit. Long as I can remember. Had a rifle in my hand since I was three. That's what my dad always says. Learned to shoot on our ranch. Way west of here. Same as the LT. He's a f f f farm kid too. Hmm. Okay. When did you enlist? Oh, they recruited me, what, a year ago? Oh, that's why Thought he's green. Me to keep even more ass than before. These guys, they really know how to kick some ass. Yeah, the Colonel Bats or Corporal Batsy thing's really dark. I was gonna stutter there. Did you see that? Kicking ass. Mostly kicking ass. See, we're watching the perimeter right now, looking for those fiends to come back. When they show their faces, that's when we go to work. One shot, one k k kill. That's the first recon way. See, it keeps wanting me to talk about that. I'm assuming that has like another ending to it. Evening. Nah, I can't pickpocket what they're wearing. I always remember finding certain people was always a pain in this one. 
So let's make sure I've talked to everyone. There's kind of oh, Sergeant Bitterroot. I'm Bitterroot. First what a name! Con. You got a reason to talk to me? Bitterroot, you have an unusual name. You trying to start trouble, or do you really not know where I got that name? I didn't mean to offend. You have to. T you don't have to tell me if you'd rather not. It's a con name. Oh. You know the great cons. That's what my parents were. I figured I grew up around the bastards. They owed me a name after all they put me through. What happened to your parents? They're dead. Got themselves killed at Bitter Springs. Ooh. Served them right if you ask me. Bitter Springs? What happened to Bitter, Bitter Springs? It was a massacre. That's what a lot of NCR folk will tell you. Most of them feel plenty bad about what happened. But I was there. Saw it myself. I don't care what anybody says. The cons asked for Bitter Springs. They wouldn't leave the NCRB. My damn parents, too. They were just as bad as the rest. Hmm. Oh. Now right, we're back to it. You don't really mean that, do you? Don't I? Mister, you never met my parent. My dad he got himself fucked up every chance he got. Always started with folk for no reason. Hell, he was the one who taught me to shoot. You know how? By taking pot shots at NCR. And not just soldiers. Civilians, too. Even kids. That's then he'd get high with his buddies and swap tales about the folk they killed. Bunch of animals. And my mom? A couple of times she tried to sell me to some waster just to score some jet. Even the other cons said she was useless. Only reason they kept her around was because she was a... <clears throat> How'd my dad say it? A smoking piece of ass. So your name, it comes from Bitter Springs? You're not fully grown till you've taken a beat down. Everybody gathers around and hits you till you're damn near dead. After that, if you haven't begged for mercy, you get to choose a new name. One you'll use for the rest of your life. When NCR slaughtered the cons at Bitter Springs, I hadn't got my beat down yet. I was still too young. The way I see it, Bitter Springs was my beat down. So afterward, I gave myself a name. It's all I got from the cons. It's all I ever won. How'd you survive the massacre? Guess I could tell a pretty good story if I had a mind. But the truth is, I don't know. I just got lucky. They brought me to Daughtry after the battle. He was just a captain back then. Guess he saw something in me. Knew I didn't belong with the cons. Maybe he felt bad, too, about how his men killed my folks. I told him he did me a service, but he didn't believe me. Still doesn't. <laughs> He's a good man, Daughtry. Doesn't act like it sometimes, I know. But he didn't have to take me in. Fair enough. Let's talk about something Yeah, else. that's probably best. Not too friendly, are you? Guess not. I don't mean nothing by it. You really want to talk to somebody, try ten of spades. He's always got plenty to say. <laughs> me? I'm here to do my job. For now, that job is shooting fiends. Fair enough. How long have you been with first recon? A while, I guess. I don't keep too careful track of time. I like to keep things simple. Just focus on now. That's why they made me a sniper. You let your mind wander back a ways and you lose sight of what's in front of your eyes. Good way to miss a mark. The writing's really good for this. Your father is your commanding officer, is that allowed? Yeah, look. He's not my real father. He just looked after me for a while. It's a long story. I'd get tired of talking before it was through. What do you know about the Great Cons? They're scum. Lazy, trumped-up raiders. Most of the time they're drunk or high, and when they're not shooting chems, they're selling them. Used to have a settlement up at Bitter Springs till they pissed off NCR and got slaughtered for their trouble. A lot of us got killed at Bitter Springs. A lot of them, I mean. My parents died, too. Well. All right. That was kind of mad. Now for the, the ultimate one. Never seen you around before. What do you want? Uh, let's see. You're a sniper? What gave me away? The big gun? The shades? Or the attitude? I didn't know all snipers were shades. Actually, I didn't notice the attitude. Big gun. Yep. A lot hmm. of people make that connection. Big gun. Sniper. Some people don't even need to ask. Have you seen serious combat here? Not unless you count the fiends as serious. Gorobetz keeps us inside the fence most of the time. Doesn't matter to me. I just shoot bad guys. Sooner or later, they'll move us out to the dam, though. 
That's when the shit gets nasty. What do you mean? Legion fights to win, and they're smart. Hell of a lot smarter than these crazy fiends. But I don't feel bad about shooting Legion boys. Fiends, on the other hand, sometimes I get pangs of conscience. Not often, but sometimes. First I've heard about conscience in a while. Yeah, doesn't sound like me at all, right? But it happens. Some cute little junky bitch, so fucked up she doesn't even know that she's the bad guy. And I've got a headshot her. Makes me think. Might just be sex, though. I see some cute little number, and I'd rather get in her pants. So maybe I'm a stone-cold bitch after all. Hmm. How about a date? I like tough women. Yeah, right. You're sniffing up the wrong skirt. Try me again when you're tall, blonde, and female. You should get some serious medical help. The lieutenant's been talking to you, hasn't he? Look, I don't need a head doctor. I'm first recon, damn it. You don't see the others crying about every little bruise and scrape, do you? Okay, so get help, people are worried, or mental traumas and slow you down or distract you, but it's treatable like any bullet wound. Just another injury to take care of, huh? Well, when you put it that way. All right. You can tell the lieutenant I finally caved. There's a Dr. Usanagi who's supposed to be good at this sort of thing. Yeah, try not to get killed. Do I need to talk to everyone, or is that kind of skipped that bit? Eve. What can I do for you? Well, she's going to get help from Dr. Unsanagi. I wish someone with your medical training had come along sooner. I think she'll actually stick with the treatment because of what she said. I was afraid that Betsy wouldn't go for long-term treatment because she didn't want to look bad in front of the rest of the squad. You settled that. Do me a favor and let Usanagi know Corporal Betsy is coming. I'd like to make sure the medical clinic has time for her. No worries. Carry on. Alright, so we know where that place is and we'll go there on our travels. As for getting into the strip, I, I think there's a few ways. I'm using the monorail, but I, I don't know. There's a lot more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios one. Right. Probably collectibles and a few other things in here, but I just want to find the main boys. Where are they? Hello. Nope. Colonel, is it James I'm looking for? Something yep. I can do for you? I'm glad we could finally meet. My sources tell me you've done some good work for us. What brings you to Camp McCarran? I'm here to provide support anything I might be able to help with. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Hmm. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week. But so far, he hasn't spoken a word. Any other problems? Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Hmm, you seem calm given how bad things are. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. Fair enough. I could look into the uh, intelligence lake. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. No worries. And I bet I could make the, the re Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Her office is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. Well, that's easy. Who are the fiends? As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. 
I'll go to Vault 3 and see if I can find him. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You've found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. No worries. How's things going, then? Could be better. I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers, and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Where does that leave you? Now we're trying to secure the strip and the dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. Fair enough. Let's see. What challenges does the NCR face? Everything was going according to President Campbell's plan at first. We met minor resistance from local troublemakers. But our two main objectives are still contested. Mr. House controls the strip and he won't so much as meet with our ambassador. And we're holding Hoover Dam. But Caesar's Legion is positioning itself to overrun it. If it falls, so will New Vegas. We'd be forced to withdraw. Hmm. Okay, what's the, uh, what's Camp McCarran's role? It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip. And it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada. Troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually General Oliver runs the show here. But he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Oh, I didn't know General Oliver was based here. Thought he was based in, uh, back in California. Are things mostly quiet here? Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. It sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Fair enough. Bye. Wow, 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 wow. We have been given a whole host of things to do. We have to speak to Cat, uh, to Curtis. And we've got the three card bounty, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, and a few others. Now I'm wondering, there's a few other ways into the strip. I don't have to go the NCR route. There's one other quest I think I can get whilst I'm here. And we'll leave the interrogation because I have to do a little bit of background into that because I think... Well, obviously, mugs gotta go. The mugs are mine. Okay, the concourse has a few people. Let's go and have a little ch chat to you. Evening. It's mainly a barracks. Can't remember if there's a skill book or anything here. I'll look into that. Oh, there's so many mugs. But I can't take anything. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up, and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait, you're not. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. You look just like... Never mind, sorry. So what can I serve you up? Is there a health inspector bothering you? That's uh, nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah, well. Anything I can get you? Got anything to eat? Oh, yeah. You can order up anything you want. As long as it's corn or beans. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Haven't you heard? With a few shipments from home and a little variety, the troops are getting restless for some quality grub. You can only do so much as a chef with just corn, beans, onions, and peppers. Uh, can anything be done to improve? Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken down, too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything, just something for the general mood around here. 
Okay, what can I do for you? Where would you suggest I find meat in the amount you'd need? It doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supplying us. What parts are needed to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. And where might I find these parts? I don't know. Try the various traders around the waist. Or the pawn shop on west side might have some parts. Oh, that's a good oh, place to try. I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. Where should I look for spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably be able to arrange a regular shipment, but I don't know of any spices known to improve mood. Hell, we have a whole research department. One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. Hmm. Start what can else. I do for you? Chow down. He really does just have beans, purified water. Although he has a lot of purified water. Good to know. If I need anything, he is a really good supplier for food. Okay, so... Yeah. Well, Veronica, we have things to be doing. Places to be. Let's have a little look. Talk to Captain Curtis and go to New Vegas Medical Clinic. I suppose I could probably do that. And we need to go to the Crimson Caravan Company, food processor. I need two pilot light, pressure cookers, conductors, fire hoses, fusion batteries, steam gauge assemblies, two sensor modules, and... Wow! Meat vendor. There are a few vendors that sell snacks and meat. You might try Fitz. He has a small shop with a couple of other merchants. Ruby Nash and Prim has some interesting items. Lastly, Crimson Caravan should be able to handle a good amount of supply. Try and convince them to trade some of our overstock if you can. We need to reserve caps if possible. Motor Runner will find him at Vault 3. NCR will pay me to take him out. He also mentioned to uh, take to look for the soldier. And then the NCR has captured a Centurion alive. They have him in custody at Camp McCarran, but he's not talking. Talk to Lieutenant Boyd about getting access to the prisoner. No worries. A lot of heavy NCR stuff that we can be doing, but I just want to nip out the back here. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Anything for sale? Take your pick. Oh, it's thousand caps, eh? Eight thousand caps. Yeah, we'll take the star bottle cap. And that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. What kind of supplies did you have in mind? Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. I'd be pretty resourceful. Perhaps we can work out a deal. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Sounds good to me. What do you need done? Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. Gun You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. I'll do it. Great, let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. No worries. Later. Arm request. Is there we upstairs here? Do you have a... Are you the one with the skill book? Might have a skill book. No, he's got an NCR database though. 
It is of average. Okay, it's not purifying. Right, so good news is it doesn't have ing in it, because then it would be three out of nine. Uh, so that leaves us with not all that much to go on. Um, can't be you. Marauding, maybe? There's an R. Uh, that's about it. And there's an ing. No, it can't be again. Okay, it can't. There's an R. There's an F. It must be... No. No F in it, so... Insistent, maybe? Ho ho ho! I love guessing, right? Download. 50 hunting rifles, 28 newest, 10 repair and storage, 50 assault rifles, 20 battle rifles, and increased gunner run... Gunner... Gun runners, weapon shipments, and modify manifest to make these numbers match the earlier totals. Boyd is getting too suspicious. Okay, well, obviously things are going on here. They're not good. Well, what's going on? Just a few soldiers out here. Evening. Yeah, this is a rather massive portion of the airport. But not all that much goes on here, if anything. Isaac, I need to increase the number of weapons and crates from our previous arrangement. Things might heat up with the Legion again and we'd like to prepare. We need to increase the weapons by 25% ammunition by 50. And then we got this as well, so. Medical clinic is... What? Oh. I did say, that seems like quite a distance. Ant mound. Because we go from the ant mound... We should be able to uh, just. Oh, didn't see this. Oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna blow you to pieces. <laughs> Veronica, I I'm just gonna have to go melee and just go in with you because you're starting to make me look bad. Hello! Goodbye! Smash! Oh. Well, honestly, I thought you were going to go into tiny pieces. Good job, Eddie! Sure showed the her. Him. Ed. Fiend. Oh, I know this place. It's got the. Ah, oh, it's got big guns. Mine. Mine. Hey. Damn it, Veronica. <laughs> You're getting in my way. She's almost too good. Oh my god. Did you see that? Well, it appears that melee weapons is gonna get some more treatment here. Star bottle cap. Woohoo! Two star bottle caps. Really is my lucky day. Are we gonna meticulously take each of these bottle caps? You're damn right we are. You know, what is it? Uh, millionaires look after, look after the pennies and the pounds look after themselves, or, well, the cents, the dollars will look after themselves, I think would be the translation of that. Uh, into uh, dollars, dollar bills. Wah! Bunk stumpa. Big bunks or big bunk? Eh, big bug stumpa. 
So the book that's very easy to miss is this one here, Tales of a Jerky Junk Town Vendor. Very, very easy to overlook. Like that book is nigh impossible to notice. Mug. Mug. Mug mug. 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 I just want by the very end we just have a total number of mugs. Right, mug. Oh. Give me the mug! Ah! <laughs> ah, worked in the end, didn't it? Okay. Mugs procured. We can get out of here. Well, that's allied technologies all done. I mean, the biggest issue for that one was just not being able to see it all that well. Anyway, I'm gonna wait 12 hours so we can walk in daylight. That's better. I can see a bit better now. Abandoned warehouse. That's uh, part of a quest later on. Tend to just go do to do to do and uh, discover all them. I have a checklist and have a wee map that I use track of things. This little caravan that got attacked. It is. Cassidy's one. Not much was left of it. And they were turned to, well, ash. Something like this way. Anything else to discover? Nope. A few abandoned buildings and just a lot of shrubbery between us and the headquarters. Ah, this is... I don't remember the name for it. They sell a lot of water, though. Fitz... Is it Fitzgerald? I don't know what his trading post is called, though. It's the... Grub and Gulp. Yeah. Hey. There's Fitz. Welcome to the Grub and Gulp. Karen is looking for a regular delivery of meat from local merchants. Really? Well, I obviously couldn't supply enough to feed the entire camp, but I'm game. What kind of caps are we talking here? They said they can pay you the going market rate. Hey, that sounds good to me. No more wasted meat just laying around to rot. I can keep my stock fresh and keep the caps flowing. If I get a big delivery brought in, I'll be sure to send a good chunk of it off to McCarran right away. Uh, tell Farber I'll try and have the first shipment sorted in a week or two. Good job. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your mm. way out. That's what I say. Hmm. Of questions. Sure. Fire away. Is there a place to buy weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. I'd imagine so. Where can I find a doctor? Dr. Usanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. And how's business? I do decent enough. The NCR patrols usually stop by for a quick bite, and travelers like yourself pass by a couple times a week. Uh, no more questions. Oh, no. Not, not quite literally, is it? What do you have sure to say? Sure thing. Anything else I can do for you? That's eh, not actually bad. Don't need anything, though. See you in a bit. Bloop. You need water? I got water. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. Mm. A little fallout never killed anybody. Where do you get your water? The NCR fixed up the pipe network pretty good, and water merchants like me are allowed to have some of it to sell. If we have a water license, of course. Still, it beats the inconvenience of having to trek all the way to the lake to resupply. I'd imagine so. Are there many water merchants? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. I have some general questions. Shoot. Anything I should know about New Vegas? They won't just let anybody into the Strip. 
but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, um, keep a close eye on your caps. Tell me about the fiends. They're a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out, but I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. That makes sense. What do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. That's all I right. know. Uh, oh, who sells equipment? The Crimson Caravan Company is the big dog around here. Keep following the road north, and you'll eventually come across their camp. We're gonna find a doctor? I'm pretty sure they've got a doc over at Camp McCarran, but I don't know if he'll treat just anybody. I didn't actually speak to a doctor. The caravans or NCR patrols usually don't stop, but we usually get people like yourself wandering on by a few times a week. Fair enough. All right. What do you have for Glad. sale? Dirty water, purified water on NCR money. None of their stock seems to be out in the open, and they do have a third vendor, so I'm wondering who this is meant for. Again, it could have been, you know, there was a plan at some point for someone. Oops, he didn't come through. I get a lot of mugs in this little, ooh, star bottle cap. I would say we've collected a fair few star bottle caps already. What's that? Oh, just a big horner. It's not just a big horner. It's meat. Free food. And of the carry wheel. Trouble. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's two of them! And they look angry. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Buff out, buff out, buff out. Can't believe I'm doing this, but... I died to big horners. <laughs> Do you know how humiliating that is? Oh no. Ah, it's actually not too bad. Wait, did I go into have I been in Dalite offices yet? Or is this just before I waited? Please tell me I've at least done in here. Oh yeah, that's okay. Oh, who dies? Who? Who dies the big horners? Right. I'll get myself back to that place and we'll uh, try that again. Okay, I'm back and I'm not happy. So where did all the other ones come from? Do you know what? I ain't, I ain't going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. Grenade! Get wrecked. Well, it looks like I nearly killed myself. <laughs> Oops. Crippled a lot of things? Yes. Nearly killed myself? Yes. Everyone's still alive between the two of yous. Yep. Let's get out of here. Can't believe I got done like that. They almost despawned or they were hiding over the ridge or something. Because, you know, they just... They just kept coming. Can I 
fix that? Nope. Oh, hello there. Seemed like an eyeball flying towards me there, as if like it was like I seen what you did there. Who are they? Just travel merchants? Oh, they are. Three of them. Mad. Hmm. Or something up behind there. I think it's one of the other vaults. Let's see if I can discover something. There's a cave. Ooh. No. I know what I'm thinking of, and I know what I'm looking for, but just... Ooh. Well, that's not good. That is not good at all. That's the big horners. Which I can live with that. Oh, it's a golden gecko. We'll see what's up here first. Probably deal oh, it's the vault! That's the vault. Oh, Cannibal Johnson's cave's here. There! To be more precise. Oh, hollowed out rock! Nice! Always cool when you stumble upon those things. And right, there's Camp Gulf. And there's something down there. Oh, coyote or night stalkers. Okay, so looking at it, we can see that there's uh, some golden geckos around here. I know that's a really dangerous vault, so we'll just clear it and find discover the location. Then we'll move on to the New Vegas Clinic and work our way to Freeside in the next episode, I reckon. Sounds good. Made great progress. We're making fantastic progress actually through this. Um, lots of quests and lots of dialogue coming up, so uh yeah, like a wee bit of a mix, wee bit of violence, wee bit of exploring, bit of dialogue, bit of terminal reading. Love all that. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.